Hi guys, welcome to day 12 of our 28 days of Pilates challenge. We're back to full body today. So again, a little collection from all the targeted workouts that we've done over the course of this week. So we're gonna jump to our mat. Uh, join me if you're not already there. So we're starting in a little high seat, soles of the feet on the mat, heels in line with the sit bones, soft bend in those knees. Give your heart a little lift by gripping onto the backs of the thighs here. Elbows nice and wide. Just think about lifting your heart towards the sky. That's quite a nice thought. Crown of the head reaching to help with that nice kind of lengthened position of the spine. Relax the shoulders down the back. Always starting with a little kind of connection to our breath and our center. So breathing into those ribs nice and full and wide. And then just relax everything down. Starting to think about that belly button drawing back towards the spine. Try and keep that height. So as you breathe out, try not to lose everything. Try and keep the connections like I say. Last one here, breathing nice and full into the ribs. And then breathing out. Relax the jaw, relax the shoulders. Good job. Bringing the arms out, still keeping that nice position of the spine. You're going to breathe out, rolling off the sit bones, centering. We're going to slide back. Find your little edge, you'll feel your abs working. Keep that connection. Scoop yourself up, restack your spine. Breathing out, roll off the sit bones, deep connection to that tummy. Bringing yourself to find your little edge. Keep reaching the arms forward. And then keep scooping, keep the crown of the head forward. And you're gonna restack from here, that's it, good. I see you, I see you, I do, I do. Good, sitting up tall each time. Train that little movement, that tall, long spine. Scooping here, nice and supported. And then restack, breathing out. And then up. Good, we've got two more, and then we're gonna bring a little bit of arm work into it, just to kind of challenge our abs a little bit. Make sure we're still paying attention, breathing out on this one, holding here. It's okay if your feet come up, just connect a little bit more to that center, find your edge, and then we're just gonna scissor the arms to each side, like a little toy soldier. One arm down, one arm up, holding that C position of the spinal, really important. Good, breathing and scooping. Checking on the abs, you should be drawing back towards the spine. You should feel them working really hard. For three, two, one. So good. Arms forward. Keep that scoop. We're going to roll all the way up and sit tall. If you need to scoop forward, come down onto our backs from here. So this time we're going to round through the spine, come all the way down, bring the heels in, and then we're just going to relax down from here, coming into toe tap, stacking one leg at a time, knee over the hip. Shin is parallel, stack in the other leg. Knee over that hip, shin is parallel. As if you need any more reminding, good. All right, moving from this hip joint, sending the thigh away, keeping that V in the leg. Breathe out, draw that tummy down, relax the upper body into your toe tap, draw the leg back in. So you can have your hands on your hips if you wanna feel what's happening through the pelvis. Try and keep that rib cage connecting down to the mat. Watch for the chin kind of going up as well. Keep that chin with the breastbone. Remember, you can have your pillow here as well for extra support for the head and the neck. Not about getting the foot to the floor. It's about moving from the hip. So you could be taking tiny little taps. You will feel it. It doesn't matter what level. Good job. Let's go three. Keep relaxing here, only work what needs to be working. Core and the hips here, good. This is our last set, we've got it. It's only 10 minutes, we've got to, we've got to maximize the 10 minutes, get the most we can out of ourselves in those 10 minutes. Beautiful work, good. Soles of the feet down, coming into oblique twists. Feel free to take this with the feet and legs up if that is your level. I'm gonna do mine with my feet down. Head into the hands, remove your pillow if you've got one. We're gonna breathe out. Chin to chest, we're curling up and over. Think of connecting opposite shoulder, opposite rib to opposite hip, and then we're coming back down. If this is new to you, you might wanna think about curling straight through the middle and then taking your little rotation, coming back, and then bringing the head and neck back down. It's up to you. So opposite hip, opposite rib, sorry, to opposite hip, holding that neutral, deeply connecting to that center, elbows wide. 
Good, head heavy. All the things you have to think about keeps the mind occupied, keeps you engaged with what's going on. Good, two more each side. Last set, guys, we're doing it so good. We're halfway through. We've done tons and we're halfway through. Good, and they're resting down from their amazing work. We're gonna just come onto our front, so just gently roll yourself over. A Little bit of prone work here, so really great for the upper back, great for those back extensors. Come to rest your forehead on your hand, lengthen the legs out of the hips, we're just parallel through the lower body. Lengthen, elbows wide like I say, sorry. And then just bring your forehead to rest. I'm gonna keep my head up so you can hear me. We're going to take a little breath in. As you breath out centre, relax those shoulders down the back. Then you're thinking of just lifting the head and then the neck, crown of the head, and then just shining your heart forward. Eye gaze stays down towards your hands. Tiny little lift, holding here, and then lengthen. Send your heart forward as you come back down. Relax the shoulders. We've got three more breathing out. Head, neck, upper back. No more, no less. Breathing at the top. And then centering, release down, two more. Exhale, heavy with that pubic bone into the mat. Gives you a little help, stay neutral. And then down, we've got one more. Breathing out. Remember that sequence of movement, head and neck, and then just that upper back. Imagine that spine is lifting up between the shoulder blades. Feel that connection. It's a hard one to get. We're all quite disconnected from our mid back and then head down, beautiful. We're gonna take a quick counter stretch. Always a counter stretch when we've done our little bit of prone work. So just coming into a rest position, child's pose, whatever you wanna call it, however, however you know this position. Take a breath into the ribs and then release fully through the mouth. Beautiful, walking those hands back in. Coming into a little mermaid, thread the needle. So find 90-90 with the legs. Let your hips just connect and sink down. And then we're going to bring our arms onto the diagonal here. Good. So one, land one hand in a kind of long line through the collarbones, breathing out. You're going to start to scoot that belly and then turn your collarbones. We're not landing the hand. We're just taking a little thread the needle. Just a little move, a little rotation through the upper mid back. Open back out. Follow your arm with your hand. So you're getting a little bit of neck rotation as well. Open and back out. We're going to do one more. Breathing out. Press up and out of that shoulder. So stay active in the supporting side as well. And then back out. Quick counter stretch. Well done. Other side. Just switch the legs. Readjust. Same thing. So onto the, diana, uh, onto the diagonal. <laughs> Breathing out. You're going to turn. And you might notice one side. This side feels slightly easier for me. One side might feel a little bit more um, kind of difficult to rotate, if you like, but really think about scooping, probably more than the rotation itself, actually. So as you're nice and connected, um, supporting that spine as you rotate. So you're not, it's important you're not rotating from your low back here, is what I'm trying to say. So centering is important to prevent that. Good. And then opening all the way back up. Quick little counter stretch. We've got this, guys. So strong. Restack your spine. We're going to come to high kneeling just to finish. So find your high kneeling position. You're going to open those hips as best you can. Pad the knees if you're on a mat that's not too um, soft. If there's quite a padded mat, then pad the knees with whatever you need, cushions, pillow, whatever. And then just see if you can get right up on top of your knees and then get the hips open. So for that little bit of work through the back of the body, glutes should be on, hamstrings on as well. We're just going to open the shoulders here. So bring the arms forward, centre to stabilise that spine, grow tall, and just press the chest open. Release forward. Good. So you can get a lot of sort of connection to your centre here and to the glutes, the backs of the legs, to keep nice and open in the front of the body and stable. Spine is lengthening up. You're just working your shoulders, open and closing here. So extending, I should say, the shoulders. We've got three more. So really press back. Imagine almost like the hands are almost wading through kind of mud or something like that. 
So you should feel that you're really pressing to open, get that stretch of the front of the chest, it's so nice. And then releasing of their beautiful work, guys. We're done, well done. Another full body um, routine in 10 minutes. I hope you find this massively beneficial and you're just feeling that little buzz that we often get, that little tonic for the body. I'll see you back on your mat tomorrow.